What's up guys, my name is Glassfoot and I did not plan for this video because I'm an idiot! That is actually nothing new, I am notoriously bad at planning anything out and as it turns out, I want to get a video out tomorrow because I'm dumb. I lost track of days. Yeah, I three days, I lost track of three f***ing days. Explain how one does that, please. Anywho, today, because I didn't exactly have a planned out video, I'm gonna go over some of the props that I own and have made and others that I want to make in the future because massive nerd. Gonna start with my masks. Starting off, we have the Casey Jones mask uh, from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. One of my personal favorite movies from the 90s. Anyway, if you are aware, I'm actually working on an entire Casey Jones cosplay because I want to rework the costume from a couple years ago that I did for Halloween. Mask number two. A Joker mask. I have no idea how well you can hear me. This thing is a freaking echo chamber to my own face. Yeah, this is actually a repainted paintball mask. So I initially had more militarized Joker costume that I and went to a con with uh, with a couple of friends that had a really crap mask that I like made my hand. And then I bought this thing. I think it was like an Army of Two style airsoft mask, but I bought this and then I repainted it uh, with the color scheme that you can currently see. To be fair, it's a little small for my head. It actually has been since I ever got it. But what I did, I spray painted it white. I actually cannot remember if I hand painted the green or if I spray painted the green and then like, and then I hand painted the smile. Uh, then I wrote, ha Joker, ha ha, ha 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 all over it. One of the other things with this is that it's actually cracked yeah, right along there. Yeah, you see right there? It's actually cracked. I don't know specifically from what, but it, that kind of tempts me to get a bit of a bigger mask and redo this. But yeah, actually to go along with this helmet, I have this. This is actually just a re, uh, this is just a repainted Nerf gun. I took it apart. I used um, a filler to fill in like the names and all that along it and then I sanded that down painted it completely this purple color except for the handle and then I spray painted this green and then I hand painted if you can see each of the little lines in there I hand painted all that and then I hand painted all of these silver this is hand painted as well as is that just because to me if I'm gonna make a militarized version of the Joker I'm gonna go all out because I feel like he wouldn't have just a regular weapon. He would definitely color his weapons in some capacity. I, I also have another Nerf rival gun that is painted the opposite of this. Problem is I haven't been able to remake that because where I build things is a bit of a wreck because of my cat. Briet decided that she wanted to F with it. So unfortunately, I'm hoping I can at least put like a prop version of it together. That's the thing. Um, when I took it apart, I had to rip out all the internals, and I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get it to ever fire again, because I'm really bad at electronics, but honestly, even if it doesn't shoot, I'm willing to just put some, like, weights into it and turn it into a non-firing replica, because I'm me. I, I plan on keeping all the parts, too, just in case I ever want to turn it into a firing replica, but yeah, so that's that. Bladed props that I have. Latest one is this. This is a elven scimitar dagger thing. I bought this specifically for the use of a prop, like a fantasy character. But this thing has an actual edge on it. I'm going to dull that down so that I can use it as a prop and I don't get in trouble at like conventions and stuff. The other thing with this is I want to use it in like fantasy film type things. So again, want to dull it down so I can swing it at my friends. Don't worry, all of us know mostly what we're doing when it comes to being safe with props so we don't kill ourselves, but yeah. I want to be able to use this in like a choreographed fight scene or something potentially. But so yeah, I plan on like dulling this down and making it semi more safe to use like that. I also want to rebuild this sheath because it's a pain in the ass. It's completely plastic. So I, because it's plastic. When I bought that, I thought because it was plastic, it was gonna be fake. I was wrong. Uh, my other weapon prop is, or sword bladed prop, I should say, is my katana. This I got from one of my friends. This is actually a practice katana. It's completely 
safe, but the entire purpose is actually for practicing like sword draws and whatnot, but I can use it as a prop up and in a prop fight if I want to, because it looks cool. I can also use this in cosplays because it looks really cool. I like this because I love katanas, but also a lot of fictional characters that use swords because I'm a fan of anime use this kind of weapon and I can use this as a tangential version. I don't really need 100% accuracy with this part of it, but yeah, I have that. My hockey stick from my Casey Jones costume. I'm actually going to back up a bit. Haha, -ha, there we go. But yeah, this is um, my Casey Jones hockey stick. Wrapped that part and that part. I was tempted to put like fake blood along that, but I figured, uh, cause I figured like Casey wouldn't care if he got blood all over it. But at the same time I was like, nah, that feels like a little too much. Plus it would like be more inclined to chip off of this, but also it kind of, I like the like look that it's like just been stained along here and along here. And I think that looks really cool. I'm actually really proud of this one as well. Then we got, uh, the Pain 101 golf bag replacement thing. You know, the thing Casey wears like this to be able to draw his bats and other stuff. Um, I didn't want to carry a golf bag around because that would be a pain, so I did this. I'm actually thinking of going back in and like lining this a little bit with um, something so it doesn't hurt my back as much. This is basically just a piece of PVC with a cap and then another, I don't know, the coupling piece that I took and spray painted black. i uh, put this too. I want to like put a shoulder pad about here-ish on it so that it, when it goes on, it actually hooks onto my shoulder a little bit so that it doesn't like flop all over the place while I'm wearing it because that's a bit of a pain. Final weapon is uh, my bat. This is a foam baseball bat that I bought off Amazon and you know, made it look all grimy and whatnot. Uh, and then I just took uh, athletic tape, wrapped the handle starting from there going down, wrapped the top because I wanted to hide the seam, like where the pore spout a little bit more. And then I put like fake blood around that and it's running down the bat because Casey wouldn't care. Casey would just beat the shit out of you and then keep going on. But yeah, those are all the props I have here with me personally in this apartment. Some of them are still at my parents' house from before I moved. Others are at my dad's workshop, which I'm going to be getting a part of. And actually, once I get that, I plan on making more prop videos, like like building videos and stuff like that. And from there, I might do a couple videos uh, sh like of us setting it up and making it for myself, but I don't really know yet. On the note of props I want to make, most of them are anime swords or other anime weapons because I'm predictable. Uh, personally, I want to make Diamond Spears from uh, Fate Zero. Mordred's sword would be kind of cool. Excalibur would be kind of a cool weapon to have. Current prop that I really want to make is Courier's gun from from Akudama Drive. I don't know how many people actually watched Akudama Drive, but it fits my personal aesthetic perfectly. I freaking love cyberpunk so much. There's a myriad of other weapons. I want to make the Keyblade at some point. I might remake a Harley Quinn mallet at some point. I made one a while back for an X. That I think we destroyed. It was massive and I didn't really have any thing to do with it and I could not find any way to get rid of it. And so I'm pretty sure I just trashed it. I wanna make Boba Fett's rifle, not his rifle, Boba Fett's gun that he has in uh, episode six. Just basically, if it's a fantasy nerd weapon, basically assume that I wanna make it. Oh, another prop I have is uh, the blasting rod from Dresden Files. Um, Dresden Files is my favorite book series and so any chance I get to talk about it, I will. This is from that. Um, I might make a shield bracelet from that. I have a staff that I wanna complete work on. I just need to finish carving runes like all down of it. That again, parents house. That's kind of all this video is. I just want to talk about the props that I have, props I want to make. I hope this video turns out well because I don't want to go back and try to do this again. I hope they all enjoyed this video. If you liked this, you know the drill, all the YouTubers ask you to do it, but I have over two years of content uh, kind of similar to this, mostly movie reviews actually, but hey, if you enjoyed this, wow, I keep repeating myself, but if you would like to follow me on either my Twitter or my Instagram, links to both of those are going to be in the description down below as always. But I hope that you all have a fantastic fucking day. And as always, peace out, guys.